Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How is life where you are? Um, it's hot and muggy and nasty here. And today I used my brain a whole lot and I came home with this like, I think I mentioned it a couple weeks ago when I got back from Gen Con that I was having this like weird, not a headache specifically, but just like pressure on my brain. And I experienced that today, and I came home, and I took some ibuprofen, and I ended up um, kind of crashing, and then I just cut the grass. <laughs> uh, and, and you know what? It works. Um, when I was a Marine, and my knee started going bad. If you don't know this about me, I have a um, service-connected disability. It's not severe. Um, I have osteoarthritis in my knee, and it was deemed to be service-connected because it developed while I was in the Marines. It developed due to impact running in combat boots, which I've been told they're, they're not supposed to do anymore. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but the point is I have arthritis in my knee, and the military pays me a tiny bit of money every month for it. A very tiny bit of money every month for it. Um, but it gets me some perks. I do get medical attention for that knee. I do you know, technically have a uh, protected veteran status if I'm applying for jobs and whatnot. But <laughs> I will openly admit that when my knee bothered me, one of the ways that I would uh, deal with that pain was to run, which is probably the exact wrong thing to do in that instance. And so today with this headache thing, it just irritated me. And I tried to lay down and I'm... I, it, it just it's there and it's this annoying thing and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go cut the grass and I feel okay now I feel I still feel foggy I it's really hard to describe mental uh, not issues I'm not, I'm not I don't think it's an issue uh, um, how do you describe that sort of thing like when I tell somebody that I feel dumb what I mean is I literally feel like I don't have the normal level of cognitive ability and that's how I feel right now. I feel dumb. I feel uh, like my brain is, is very slow at processing information right now. It's very, I'm not intaking things very easily. I'm having to put a whole lot of effort into um, maintaining a conversation and understanding what's being said. Um, I'm having a difficulty with um, processing information and, um, and it feels foggy. That's, that's the way I always describe it. And I don't know if that's how most people describe it, but uh, the headache is at least uh, not there. I don't have the pressure, but I do feel foggy. And um, that's always very difficult for me to power through. And I'm, I'm, you know, I have a lot of work to be done. And uh, I can't live like this. But I did get a lot of work done today. And I was originally going to talk about it because... Hmm, today is one of those frustrating days as a developer when... The client requests one thing and then tells you they didn't need it. <laughs> and I, I guess on this project, this particular project, I don't necessarily, I did do a tiny bit of development, but it's essentially establishing a new WordPress site for a client uh, with a member database built into it. And on their existing site, um, that member database was kind of self-maintained. Members could register, members could update all of their profile information, all that sort of stuff. And I said, yeah, I can build that pretty quickly in WordPress and their main complaint was that maintaining the member database was extremely difficult in the software that they were using. I said, no, it's dead simple. So I spent yesterday working on one plugin that I like, that, but it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do exactly. I wrote a little bit of custom functions and stuff to kind of wrap it so that it would do a little bit more, but I couldn't get it to work. So then I spent today switching to a different plugin that uh, worked very well. Right out of the box, I had to do small bits of code editing, small bits of tweaking here and there, uh, messing around in the database to make it do what I wanted it to do. And I got it all working. I got the menus working the way I wanted them to work. I got the membership stuff in there the way I wanted it in there. And I got ready to import all of their users. They have like 800 members or something like that. It's, a, it's for a small organization. And so I emailed them and said, um, I'm about to do this. I'm about to import all these users. But when this happens, their passwords are going to be reset because their passwords were you know, hashed on the old site, there's no password. So when that happens, I can have the system automatically email these people. And the response I got back was, 
well, I don't think they're going to be logging into this site. I think we've got that handled somewhere else now. <laughs> you know, that's the frustrating part when you're dealing with customers um, on any level that think they want something and then you tell them, okay, I'm going to build that, I'm going to do that, and then they go, oh, I, by the way, I forgot to tell you I didn't need that. And you're like, well, I just spent two days on that, you know, and you're paying for that. They paid for that time. They paid for the setup. We quoted them a price and they said, okay, and now they don't need it. Uh, so I guess I can't complain. We're getting paid for it, but man, it hurt my brain. Uh, so now I have to go in tomorrow and retweak before I upload all this user data so that it doesn't send emails and it doesn't really do much other than hold member data. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason my brain hurts, but I'm good now. I did the grass. I just showered because fall allergies are destroying me and um, I don't feel great. So I'm going to go get something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. It's late. I got to do that. I've got to edit this and um, hopefully get a chance to just chill for a little bit. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, being wonderful people. I appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia. What nation produces the most vanilla? The majority of the world's vanilla is the V. planifolia species, more commonly known as bourbon vanilla, after the former name of Réunion Le Bourbon. I can't say that. Or Madagascar vanilla, which is produced in Madagascar and neighboring islands in the southwestern Indian Ocean and Indonesia.